Pokemon is the second biggest franchise in the world, coming second to Super Mario Bros. I want to find out how it became such an influential franchise in the world and how it evolved. In Japan 1996, the first Pokemon games released were Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green. They were originally named Pocket Monsters Red and Green and were released on the Game Boy Color. It became a massive hit and it allowed players to swap, train and trade up to 151 creatures and to become the Pokemon Master. Pokemon was also remade on newer consoles including the Nintendo 3DS, the Nintendo DS and the Nintendo Wii. Soon after, on October the 10th, 1996, a card game was released whereby players could battle against each other and swap between 102 possible cards. Soon after, on April the 1st, 1997, the anime series was released and became incredibly appealing to younger audiences. Due to Pokemon's rapid increase in popularity and sales across the whole franchise, a manga was released on October the 28th, 1997. It is still releasing manga volumes today, making it the longest running manga series ever made. And this was only the beginning. To this day, there has been over 10.23 million copies of Pocket Monsters Red, Blue and Green sold, making it the top most sold platinum game in Japan, beating Tetris and Super Mario Land by a whopping 6 million. But overall, Pokemon has sold over 260 million copies worldwide, excluding games from Nintendo 64 and GameCube. I decided to interview a few people of different ages to see how similar or differently they viewed Pokemon. My first question was their opinion on the Pokemon game and franchise. Pokemon as a franchise, I think it's done very well since it's gone from such a small company as Pocket Pocket Monsters all the way to a global franchise spreading all the way across the world with its anime series and all that. As a game, I think it's also done very well. It's just amazing as a game. All kids will love, love, love it and etc. onwards. Um, don't really know much about it. Is started in the 90s been quite big since then um, the game's quite successful being released on a lot of different platforms but they're mostly owned by Nintendo I think and they earn a lot of money uh, Pokemon games yeah I've played them uh, I played them on the Wii and on the Nintendo DS. I liked it best on the Nintendo DS simply because it was much more interactive. Um, Nintendo Game Boy. I had a Pokemon game. The first and original Nintendo DS's. I had a Pokemon game. Um, and on the side of like best game mechanics. I would say it would probably be the poffin making <laughs> in when you go to the main cities where you get to spin the pot and cook up your poffins for your Pokemon. I've watched a good portion of the Pokemon anime and the films, watched all of the films. I used to watch the Pokemon TV show when I used to collect the cards when I was young and I went to see the first Pokemon film in the cinema um, but other than that I haven't really watched any of the Pokemon series or any of the other Pokemon films and for me um, Pokemon didn't occur to me as anime I thought it was too mainstream um, so I suppose the only, it's, it's much more Americanized, I suppose, um, and made for Western audiences. It's rather funny, even though it's for kids and all, and the only thing I dislike about it is the fact that Ash is still 10 years old. 
it's just transition from 2D to 3D. It's a bit off with me. It cuz I've always been used to the exact pinpoint locations where you can move rather than being able to move in between squares. I think that a lot of things are becoming 3D. If you look at film, um, so I don't see why the gaming industry shouldn't follow suit. They're making a lot of money from it. Um, I don't see why it should make too much of a difference. And I think that as a franchise, they're just trying to keep up with the latest generation in terms of what they're doing, technologically speaking, um, on a gaming and entertainment platform. But I think it's rather good. It means that it's still continuing its development from one to another. The gameplay mechanics, the fact that I'm able to move in 360 degree directions rather than just 90 degree directions. It's just uneasy for me. I've just used the Eon flute. No idea what that means. I don't recognise the Pokemon, so I suppose even though it's a remake, they're still using. Um, the newer Pokemon that have come out. Yeah, um, I like the like joysticky feature. Um, it's quite nice. It allows greater freedom um, in terms of where you're going and what you're doing. Uh, although being on this bike is quite quick, um, which I don't. Oh, um, which I don't know if I like. I don't, I'm quite new to the game. Uh, just get rid of that point. Let's see the new Mega Evolutions thing. Major copy of Digimon. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's see what this is. Mega Evolution. Let's try Blaze Kick. Ooh. I haven't seen uh, this this version of the Mega Evolution before. Uh, it's it's really cool. Now uh, the Mega Evolution's rather rather cool. Either way, the game mechanics don't seem to have changed too much. I like how they've always they've got the uh, characters constantly moving now. That's a really neat trick. Yeah. <coughs> also, the characters are pictures are much more fluid rather than jittery like in the last ones.